Here are 15 new App Store games from June to August 2023. Thanks to my friend Robbie for providing the music you hear in this video. Check out his website in the description to listen to more of his music. THQ have brought Elix 2 to Mac computers. Elix 2 offers players a vibrant world to explore, featuring five major factions, each with their own captivating story arc for players to engage with and experience. You follow Jax, who must once again unite the free people of the science fantasy world of Magellan against a new threat, the Skylands, who want to change the face of the planet forever. The combat in Elix 2 is not amazing, if I'm honest. It reminds me of early 2000s action games, but I would say the story, atmosphere, and world are pretty stellar for what you get here. It's not very often that we get a big AAA open world game like Elix 2 on Mac, so check it out if you're interested. Elix 2 costs $44.99 USD. It is only available on Mac. See a list of supported Apple Silicon Macs on screen now, and a list of AMD Intel Macs on screen now. Hello Kitty Island Adventure is one of the best games to launch on Apple Arcade since the service launched in 2019. In fact, it is officially the number one game on Apple Arcade right now, with a rating of 4.9 out of 5 stars. 31k ratings. Hello Kitty Island Adventure is a life simulation game where players will build friendships with their favorite Sanrio characters like Hiromi, Batsmaru, if that's how you say it, and Cinema Roll. All these characters are exploring a massive island with a magical underwater world filled with puzzles, challenges, and mysterious treasures. The game has more than 40 hours of gameplay and just got its first content update their little twin stars. The game is only available to Apple Arcade subscribers on the App Store. It is available on iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, and Mac. From the creators of Octodad, Bug Snacks has players catching mysterious living snacks and feeding them to friends in this unusual island adventure. Bug Snacks takes you on a journey to Snack Tooth Island home of the half-bug, half-snack creatures called Bug Snacks. You're invited by Elizabeth Mega Big, if that's how you say the person's name, and you arrive to discover that your host is nowhere to be found, her camp is in shambles, and her followers are scattered across the island alone. And they're hungry. They're really hungry. Young heroes have put out a fantastic mobile port, with 60 FPS, custom graphical options, good performance, and advanced controller support, with rumble vibration and haptic feedback and adaptive trigger support on DualSense controllers. Bug Snacks offers a free demo, with an in-app purchase of $9.99 USD to unlock the full game. It is available on iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, and Apple Silicon Macs as the iPad version. War Thunder makes its way to mobile. This is for the most part the same game as PC, with modes on offer right now such as ships and tanks. Sadly, the plane mode is missing right now. There are 100 plus ground vehicles, warships and aircraft available currently, a variety of maps to try, you can play in a squad or by yourself, you can unlock equipment, you can customize your gear and much more. It is a really good looking game, I would say, and it's got very realistic physical damage models, and it's got up to 120 FPS support on iPad Pro and iPhone Pro. The game also has full controller support for gameplay and menu interaction, which is rare for a free game. War Thunder Mobile is only available on iPhone and iPad. Please see a list of recommended devices to play the game on. Samurai Showdown is a blade-wielding fighting game and a reboot for the franchise with high-end visuals powered by Unreal Engine 4 and improved modern fighting gameplay. Play online against others, try out the story mode, play the battle mode for custom fights, or learn how to play the game in the practice mode. 
I'm very disappointed that there is no controller support here. Controller support would allow for faster button mashing, combos and blocking that's not really possible with the touch controls. It also runs at a very low resolution on mobile, so it looks funny on larger displays like on iPad. Those are the only issues, mind you. Otherwise, it's a fantastic fighting game. At the end of the day, it's very rare to see premium fighting games on this caliber on mobile. So check it out if you're into these sorts of games. Samurai Showdown is only available to Netflix subscribers on the App Store. It is only available on iPhone and iPad. Handy Games have brought another excellent game to the App Store, Little Big Workshop. Little Big Workshop is a factory simulator built for the masses. Manage your workers, stations, machines, and create awesome stuff as your Little Big Workshop grows into your dream factory. The unique thing about this sim is that you appear to be building this factory in a living room. The cartoony and cute graphics give it a special feel too. I would say if you enjoyed games like Factorio, but also you're looking for more of a business management angle worked in to it, Little Big Workshop might be for you. Handy Games have optimized the game very well for mobile with advanced graphical options, 60 FPS, and a different user interface for smaller displays. Little Big Workshop costs $9.99 USD. It is available on iPhone, iPad, and Apple TV. Please see a list of supported devices on screen now. Arena Breakout is a new free FPS game on mobile. Many have been saying that it's a COD Mobile or Warzone killer, but it's nothing like COD Mobile or Warzone, so that comparison is stupid. Arena Breakout is more like Escape from Tarkov, but really it has dumbed down graphics and, if I'm honest with you, typical free mobile tropes. That is a good thing and also a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. How does this game work? Well, you bring in your own equipment, battle against enemies you see, search for supplies and extract with what you found. Extract successfully and take everything with you, die and lose everything on the battlefield. The objective is basically to extract safely with your loot, not really to kill and to be the last one standing. It has no control support, which sucks, but it has many graphical options and will soon support up to 120 FPS. Arena Breakout is only available on iPhone and iPad. Please see a list of recommended devices on screen now. Return to Monkey Island is an excellent point-and-click game that continues the story of the legendary adventure games The Secret of Monkey Island and Monkey Island 2. Some OG people have worked on this new game again, which is cool for fans of the series. The goal of this new game is to bring classic gameplay to the modern day. Players will solve puzzles and explore the islands with a clever evolution of classic adventure game controls. Context sensitive interactions, reactive dialogue trees, and an easy to use inventory system make pirating a breeze. If you loved the original as a kid or an adult, you'll almost certainly love this one too. Or for lovers of point and click games, you'll almost certainly fall in love with it too. Return to Monkey Island costs $9.99 USD. It is available on iPhone and iPad. However, a separate Mac App Store version is sold separately for $24.99 USD. I don't know why they've done that. It's stupid, but it is what it is. Layers of Fear 2023 is an Unreal Engine 5 remake of the original iconic 2016 horror experience and the follow-up 2019 Layers of Fear 2. It is the first Unreal Engine 5 game to be supported on Mac, which is huge by itself. It also comes with HDR, Metal 3 support, and Metal Effects upscaling. I understand the game won't be for everyone. It's not a typical survival horror experience. It's slower paced with some walking simulator elements in there. However, I do recommend checking it out for the next-gen graphics and creepy set pieces alone. Layers of Fear 2 2019 was never available on Mac too, so it's a bonus that it's included in this remake. Layers of Fear costs $29.99 USD. It is only available on Mac. Please see a list of supported Apple Silicon Macs. 
Lost in Play is a journey through childhood imagination with thoughtfully crafted puzzles and colourful characters. Play as a brother and sister duo on an adventure to find their way back home. Between reality and fantasy, the siblings explore the enchanted forest of a horned beast, start a rebellion in a goblin village, and help a team of frogs free a sword from a stone. It only lasts for five or so hours, but it doesn't put a foot wrong, delivering clever gaming and bubbly entertainment. The only annoying thing about the mobile port is a lack of controller support and a 30 FPS limit. Otherwise, it's a true gem on any platform, really. Lost in Play offers a free demo with an in-app purchase of $5.99 USD to unlock the full game. It is only available on iPhone and iPad. Get up and shake it on the go in this vibrant rhythm action game. A revival of Sega's classic rhythm game series, which is players shaking maracas to the beat, Samba D Amigo Party To Go is a modern sequel to the popular 2000s franchise. The game features three songs found only on Apple Arcade, Sai's Daddy featuring CL, Lady Gaga's The Edge of Glory, and The Walker from Fitz and the Tantrums, along with an exclusive series first story mode where players join Amigo on his quest to reclaim music. It has more than 40 hit songs from the world's most popular music genres and even more songs post-launch. Samba de Amigo Party to Go is a dynamic and unique twist on the classic rhythm game experience. The game is only available to Apple Arcade subscribers on the App Store. It is available on iPhone, iPad, Apple TV and Mac. Unpacking provides you the basic premise of its gameplay in its title. It's all about unpacking. But deep down, it's much more than that. You follow the story of a character, all from unpacking their belongings in their first childhood bedroom to moving into their own house. You will discover the backstory of the character through their items that they take to their new destination and the items that get left behind. I was surprised to see the game has controller support. I don't think it needs it, the game is perfect with touch controls, but it's cool that it was added. If you have OCD, like me, it might be a good thing to check out this game. I found it really helped me to relax with all the organizing, but I imagine some might find the opposite, depending on your personality. The only thing I dislike about this port is that it only runs at 30 FPS. I'd really like to see a 60 FPS option in the future and even 120 FPS on supported devices. That would be really cool. Unpacking costs $9.99 USD. It is only available on iPhone and iPad. Oxen Free 2 Lost Signals is the mind-bending follow-up to the critically acclaimed narrative adventure game Oxen Free from Night School. Play the new story as standalone, or what I suggest that you do is you dive deeper into the Oxen Free universe by playing the original to find smart connections to this new entry. It's really cool, but it's your choice. Play the, this one alone or play the first one. It's, it's your choice. As you play this new second game, you'll shape the story through your choices. How you choose to deal with the supernatural events at hand will forever alter the future in this thrilling story. The writing here is absolutely fantastic, and the voice acting is well done too. It's really impressive production quality from an indie developer. Oxen Free 2 Lost Signals is only available to Netflix subscribers on the App Store. It is only available on iPhone and iPad. Interested in a new card game? Well, let me introduce you to Deliverance and Rain. Engage in a gothic battle where good defies evil using roguelike deck building mechanics, built for hardcore fans and newcomers alike. The game is split into two game modes. We have Deliverance and Rain. It's in the title. Each mode is unique and is supposed to feel like a new but interconnected experience. You can switch freely between these modes at any point, which is fantastic because they have separate saves, progression, and achievements. It's a really good card game. 
The card art is top notch and the music and atmosphere are all well put together. If you've been looking for a dark fantasy card game like this, I, I simply can't recommend it enough for fans of the genre. Or if you're new to these types of games, you might still enjoy it too. Deliverance and Rain costs $7.99 USD. It is available on iPhone, iPad, and Apple Silicon Max as the iPad version. 10 Tons are always known for bringing great premium indie games to the App Store. Their next one is Undead Horde 2, Necropolis. This is a necromantic action game with elements from RPG, strategy, and hack and slash. You will raise undead warriors of your choosing from enemy remains to help you in battle. You can command armies of over 100 units, which is crazy. Rebuild the Necropolis and unlock new talents, new upgrades, and new powers. Find and unlock unique undead minions to raise, level up your character, and conquer the world and save all the undead souls that you can, because there are a lot. It also comes with full controller support, thank you, and custom graphical options, thank you again. Undead Horde 2 Necropolis costs $9.99 USD. It is available on iPhone, iPad, and Apple Silicon Max as the iPad version. Here are some bonus games. Pizza Hero is a new shoot-em-up roguelite that puts a delicious twist on the genre. In this game, you'll play as a pizza, basically, who must defend the world from an invasion of enemies. It's really good, it's really good. If you've liked Vampire Survivors, check this one out. Towers of Everland recently left Apple Arcade, but is now up as a standalone app on the App Store. It's a really good RPG with some adventures, quests, and good combat. Cat Quest 2 also recently left Apple Arcade, but is now up as a standalone app on the App Store. It is a 2D open world action RPG set in a fantasy realm of cats and dogs. Flatout 2 has been re-released on the Mac App Store. It is now a 64-bit application running natively on Apple Silicon and supports the Metal API. It's a massive shame virtual programming didn't bring the game to iOS and Apple TV. What a missed opportunity, you stupid heads. WrestleQuest has players engaging in a pixel-powered pro wrestling fantasy RPG. Characters are inspired by real-life icons that guide you through your quest from aspiring rookie to superstar. Luck Be a Landlord has you attempting to defeat your landlord in a slot machine roguelike deck builder. It's a really well-made little game and I strongly suggest checking it out. Yacht Club Games have brought Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon to the App Store. This one is different to the others in the series because you've been sucked into a puzzle dimension. Battle foes, collect relics and match blocks to save friends and escape in this genre bending spin-off. What do you think of these new App Store games from June to August 2023? Are you impressed by what's on offer or are you disappointed? Also, is anyone else wondering where the heck is No Man's Sky for iPad? I am. Where is it? I want it now! Sorry I haven't posted one of these videos for a while. My body forced me to have a break from YouTube, providing me with shingles on my back. But I'm back now, kind of. We'll, we'll see how I go. Anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with future App Store game releases. My name's Stewie and thanks for watching.